hey what's up guys and welcome back to this video and in today's video we are going to see how to replace the default comment section with facebook comments in dv so here how it looks at the default comment section as you can see this is how it looks so when the user is logged in they will just need to add a comment and then they can submit so if the user is not logged in they have to enter their name email and then their website and then the comment that they actually want to put in so we are going to replace it with the facebook comments and this will also reduce the user effort to add comment on your website all they have to do is simply put in the comment and then submit and it's a great way to reduce spam on your website many user prefer the Facebook comments over the default comments because of spam and I also prefer it so let's see how to change it with the Facebook comments in a very very easy way in DV so let's get started so all you have to do is follow the first link in the description of this video to get to this page to purchase the DV Supreme Pro plugin and not only you will get these features to replace the default comment section with Facebook comments, you will also get so many other modules and extensions. It includes 42 modules and 6 beautiful extensions such as pop-up and scheduled elements. So follow this link, uh, the first link in the description and that's an affiliate link which means if you will purchase uh, the plugin using that link, I'll get some small commission which really really helps me and also you will get a special 10% discount here is the code right over here to add while check out and you will get the 10% discount so when you have purchased the DV Supreme Pro plugin and installed it on your website and now all you have to do is make sure that you have created a single post template using the DV team builder and after that you need to just go ahead and uh, edit the post template and once you are in the DV builder scroll down to the comment section and simply delete this comment section or uh, comments module right over here and then here you need to add Facebook comments right over here and as you can see it is saying to add the Facebook app ID from the Facebook developers account so I'll just add it in a second so I have already added the app ID from my Facebook developers account and now it will appear here as well and in the page URL feed you do not need to enter your Facebook page URL uh, we have to add our current page URL here so for that we need to use dynamic content simply click on this icon and then here you need to select the current post link and that's it you are already done so it may not appear here I think and you can also play around with some other settings and as you can see it's saying number of posts and you can limit the number of comments to show and color scheme you can also change the order so I'll just leave it as it is and then save the changes and then I will just come over here and refresh this page and as you can see the comment section has been changed to this Facebook comments and this is uh, I have logged into my Facebook account so now I can simply put in my comment like this and then I can simply post or you can also click on this checkbox right over here to post on your Facebook feed I think so let's just simply click on post and as you can see it's just that easy to add your comment with Facebook comments very easy to do right and I think that's it for today's very very quick video I hope you have enjoyed it and don't forget to follow the first link in the description to purchase the DV Supreme Pro and I'll meet you in my next video till then have a great day. Peace out.